It's official. One of the more highly concentrated areas in downtown Lexington will no longer be known as Cheapside Park. That block was once home to one of the largest slave markets in the South, where thousands of enslaved black people were sold. The city council voted last night to change the name to honor a black Lexingtonian born into slavery, but who leaves a legacy even today. LEX 18's Mike Valenti has the story. It was only less than 200 years ago when black men and women were sold as property right here in the center of Lexington. Today, bars line the strip where auction blocks used to be. But the reminders of that painful history still linger. Because I can tell you right now, there was a long period of time that I didn't feel welcome in that space. The energy there is just, you know, it, it doesn't make you feel like you want to be there. It's not a place that I would ever want to go and party. DeBron Thomas and Russell Allen founded the movement Take Back Cheapside in July 2016. And they've worked for years to get the name changed. Their efforts gained new momentum this summer in the wake of the killing of George Floyd. In downtown Lexington, protesters calling for racial justice made it a point to turn their attention to Cheapside, acknowledging the atrocities committed in this space, where people now sat sipping drinks from the bar. We have to acknowledge what happened, we have to own what happened, and we have to move forward together in a loving and joyful way uh, so that, you know, there are, people can have hope. And moving forward together means honoring those black Americans who were born into pain, but succeeded against seemingly insurmountable odds. The area formerly known as Cheapside Park will be called Henry Tandy Centennial Park. Tandy was born into slavery, but became an important figure in the construction of many buildings in Lexington including the old historic courthouse. Mr. Tandy is just one of many people whose shoulders we stand on, and he left a foundation that you can still feel in this city. But the work is far from done. The first thing that we're working on is we want the city to make a public apology for their role in title slavery in Lexington. They say without an apology, the name change would just be an empty gesture. They also want to rethink the design of this space. We want to bring in those voices of folks that are downtown protesters, of elders that have lived here their whole lives and have never been asked what they wanted. The future of Henry Tandy Centennial Park has yet to be written, but Thomas and Allen want it to be a place that pays tribute to black pain while also honoring black accomplishments that came out of that pain. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.